Kia ora bros and girls, welcome back to the channel. We're up with the final chapter of the four star challenge for this month is Uncollected Quest. Um, we have an aspect of evolution line, we have a heal block burst line, and we have vigor. Vigor is probably the easiest to deal with. Um, we're gonna take that line. We have brought in the holy trinity or the unholy trinity, however you want to call it, with void and with modok. You might ask, mm, why Modok? Uh, what you don't know is that Modok, or what you may know, is that Modok can reverse heals with his SP1, even through a block, which comes in very, very handy on this line, which um, Vigor, they regain like 20 or 50% of their lives, if you have a look there. Um, every like 25 seconds or something I don't know it's like a, a certain proportion of your life um, every so often now if we time the SP1 with that um, with that region we can reverse a lot of that region and so as you can see they'll regain some of it back but we'll actually be able to gain on them as opposed to you know we hit them hit them hit them and then heal back to full life so that makes this line a little bit easier um, of course if you're running like five star rank fours you might not even have to worry about that because you could probably out damage stuff um, but if you're running four stars uh, his um, modox sp1 is very very handy see there as soon as he starts regening we throw the sp1 that drains him and he's gone so that makes that fight pretty easy uh, we move on to the next one. We move on to Hulk. Now you might ask, oh, why don't you just use um, Archangel to heal block? The, but on this line, there's a lot of people, um, like Hulk, for example, he's poison immune. So Archangel will work for some, uh, but he won't work for others. If you have the ultimate, the ultimate person for this line would be Warlock, to be fair, because Warlock will just completely block the heal. Um, the whole time so so we'll throw the sp1 here we'll actually use that region against them and uh yep yeah, that's fine the only thing is we just got to make sure that we don't die because we are taking a lot of chip damage i mean this is the final chapter you're looking at 18 19,000 pi uh champs so they can still hit pretty hard um, when you're a four star and now I've got to let him throw the sp2 yep because I don't want him to get to his ulti now I'm just gotta wait but at the same time yep throw the sp1 here drain some of that throw another sp1 but just not quick enough but I can't really parry him so I'm just trying to Kind of push to the SP2. Come on, buddy. Yep, throw the SP2. And we got knocked out, but I mean, we, we got fairly, fairly close. Um, I'm just gonna come in with with Blade just to be able to finish him really quickly because I'm gonna be able to finish him before the region kicks in, so I don't need to worry about reversing or blocking the region in this particular instance. Um, and yeah, we'll move on to the next one and figure out what we're gonna do from there. So we'll go through the portal, and the portal will take me to Sentinel. Um, As a villain, I do have danger sense, so I'm gonna try to go in with blade and use my danger sense against him. Um, just have to be a little bit careful because hopefully I can do more damage than in the same time that you know in the time that his region kicks in. Uh, but we'll see. Oh, I think I actually blocked it that time. Blocked it completely. Uh, unfortunately, I then threw an SP1 when I was supposed to throw an SP2. That's okay. So maybe we can shut it. So Danger Sense can actually shut down that node 
I don't know if it's completely or sometimes. I think actually that shut it down twice there, so that's kind of handy to know. Uh, unfortunately, I get smacked with that incinerator. I should have just blocked it. Damn it. Um, okay, so I will bring in Void. I really didn't want to bring in Void. Uh, let's actually bring in Stark. I think I should be able to to deal enough damage with Stark before he heals. And even if he heals, I should be able to add damage with Stark. I, I hope. Not if I keep getting hit like that. Okay, that's alright. That'll work. Okay, let's get our poise charges up. Wow, you're regening a lot. Oh, man, that is annoying. Okay, there we go. So, get in. If I can just throw in an SP2, should be almost done. So, we can just set there. Damn it, it's gonna reach in again. And we're gonna throw the SP2, and hopefully. There we go, that does reverse a lot of that damage. So now we need to build up to another SP2, but we're kind of on the clock here because he's halfway down to his regen. Come on. And. Okay, it's alright, he's, he's at 19. Almost there, come on, there we go. Throw the SP2 before the, 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 before the region, before the region. Ah, it's so close, oh my God, that was. <laughs> so, okay, that's not how we envisioned that. We just envisioned to go in with Blade and kind of ruin him, but um, I, I guess that's all right, that kind of works. Um, so now we're up against Omega Red. Obviously, we can kind of, if we're very aggressive, we can out damage the region. So I'm gonna go with Stark again, and we have pass advantage. Uh, but I have to be quite careful here. Also, need to build up my um, my poise charges and make sure that I'm not I don't stand too close to him, so he doesn't degen me. But pretty easy to evade, and I can deal a lot of a lot of crit damage. That's fine that he's back at 100. Uh, what I really want to do is just build to my SP2 and build up my charges. And I think over time we'll be able to um, to wear him down. You could say like, oh, why didn't you just use Void? Um, and I probably could have just used Void, but I would like to keep Void for the boss. So we're up to 8 charges, 9. Throw it at the SB2 with taunt. That's a decent amount of damage. Back to nine. He gets in there. We do a ton of crits. This is weird. Sometimes, sometimes it's like it. Sometimes vigor regions, and sometimes it doesn't. Um, I don't know what's up with that, but anyway, that's fine. That works for us. Um, Okay, cool, so that takes care of Omega, and then we move on, oh, okay, we go further out, which must mean we're pretty close to the boss, I guess, um, and we're up against Rogue, she still has Vigor, um, and we still have a Spidey, so let's, uh, let's run on that, I might just give him a bit of cheap heals, just in case he doesn't have enough. there all right we're up to seven poisons eight nine ten and now I just want to push her to her SP1 there we go all right here's an opening if she strokes SP1 that would be also great that's okay we can push 
pressure through SP2 though we don't find. SP1 opens up. Here we go. You want to throw another one? Nope. Okay. No problem. Oh no. So a little bit, uh, a little bit rusty there, but um, that is okay. We're, we'll just use void for this one, I guess. We'll just power through with void um, and see what we can do. Um, the good thing with void is obviously you can reverse the heal so that you can you're really well placed against that node because um, you're taking advantage of their heal and reversing it so they're just killing themselves now if if I had allowed myself to bring in five stars um, I could I could have brought in a double void and if I had more room in my team I probably could have bring, brought in th th uh, three star void but again, he takes a lot of chip damage, so I was hoping that you know I could balance it out. Um, but yeah, thing is, I'm only playing with four stars. I'm probably bring one void, which is my maxed out four star void. Now I have the two petrified buffs on her, uh, debuffs on her. So now she has minus 100 um, percent region, so she should not be regioning off the node anymore. As you can see it's minus 100 and if we can get another petrify buff there we go now it's gonna be minus 150 so now the next time she um, the next time the gray gets zeroed and she regions now minus 200 she is going to die a quick miserable death but I might kill her before that even because void is just badass all right so we're four stars we're 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 pushing through man we are we're doing this uh, i'm gonna use some energy refills because i don't really care and uh, and we are one away from the boss so we have beast and we're just gonna use void again to be fair beast is pretty easy to fight against um and while he shrugs off the bus pretty quickly, um, uh, voids voids ones are not re not really like the same kind of debuffs. Like you can't shrug them off. They're kind of like I don't know. You can call them like a passive debuffs, I guess. But they're not like debuffs in the sense that like tenacity can get rid of them. So um, so beast can't get rid of of, of the stuff. We made the SP one pretty easy. And what we want to do is we want to keep as much life as, as possible because we're going to need Void for the boss. Okay, that's that's kind of the main thing. Um, now we only have one Petrify, so it's minus 50. Now that's two Petrify, so now we actually reverse his regen. And throw another one in there. Okay, cool. So we're one away from Fear the Void. Dance away from that one. Fear the Void is on him. We'll keep pushing through. Now it's minus 150. Maybe I can get it to minus 200. Yep, minus 200. So the next lot of regen is gonna really hurt him. Look at that, minus 3,000 a tick. Boom, there you go. Man, you gotta love Void for these nodes, eh? Absolute champion. Right, so now we go to the final boss and the final boss is mephisto 38,000 pi mephisto with immune to ability accuracy reduction he starts with an extra soul incinerates um 40 percent more effective and he's got this footloose node um so the most annoying th there are two th annoying things about mephisto the most annoying thing about mephisto is the incinerate damage right um the incinerate damage is really really annoying and it allows him to power gain when he's incinerating around you that's number one number two is when you're like oh, okay cool i finally almost got him down he has a regen he regens all his souls at 30 percent so then with four souls he will regen almost basically to full life right um so then you have to start the fight again so it can be really really difficult so what we want to do is use void because void is the perfect counter to mephisto i mean blade's pretty good too 
um, you can get pretty far with blade but you can get um, you're better with void S void is incinerate immune so he can sit here in the aura of incineration all day long and not take damage um, he can reverse that heal so he can actually stop that regen at 30 percent but not only that he can actually also stop the power gain from the aura of incineration uh, once you're above two petrifies right so that helps sometimes because sometimes you can um, sit in the aura of incineration and actually drain mephisto's power um, instead of pushing to, the, to his um, sp3 so that works really well now at the moment we're at um we're just kind of cycling through our debuffs kind of playing that along that whole line of reversal we're at minus 150. Uh, the, the footloose node means that when he throws a special he's unstoppable for a little while so after he throws a special we have to kind of like parry him wait to parry him again and, and and then once unstoppable goes away we can start fighting him again he's now under 200 now i want to get him under 30 yep there we go before my other fear of the void runs out so now we've completely zeroed out his regen he's used up all his souls he's used a special so now he's got seven seconds of unstoppable and evade we parry we parry again we get in there we throw in uh, the sp doesn't really matter too much about the regen now but you know with void this fight is pretty can be pretty simple the things you have to uh, be aware of is reversing the region before you go down to 30 percent and also just uh, after his special don't go straight in because he's got unstoppable and he has um an evade so you just gotta parry twice and then you can go in once the green and the yellow nodes are gone hopefully this helped you out guys hopefully you liked this video if it did if you did like subscribe leave a comment and as always, we'll see you in the next one. Kaki te ano, bros and girls.